This is Hawk Wind with Master of the Universe. CBT guitar lesson for Tim. This one's flat. And uh, yeah, so you're gonna have two separate, uh, looks like two separate CBTs for this because I did the wrong version for you. So this one's gonna have all the rhythm and then we will use the live version, um, Chronicles version for the lead breaks and stuff. So I'm gonna put all that in this lesson though. So this rhythm will probably get through pretty quick. You want to tune flat. A lot of effects, psychedelic, you know, I could picture them touring with King Crimson, right? So uh, D to E, really, through most of this rhythmically, 5A, 7th fret, D and G. And um, palm mute the open E twice. And then do the same thing, but move it to an E power chord, 7A, 9th fret, D and G. You're gonna hit the power chord, palm mute the open E two times, and do it again and again. So three times of that. So it's one, two, three, and then power chord, open E, power chord, open E. That's your rhythm that's gonna go three times. And this was interesting. He, interesting. he did a C power chord with an open E on the bass. So it's open E, 3A, 5th fret, D and G. You can use three fingers or bar it, however you want. But the strum is different. It's down, 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 up. And then move that up a whole step to a D with an E bass, strum it the same way. And then, um, then that's one time through. Then section 1B, 42 seconds in. Similar to that, it's the D, open E, palm mute, the E twice, open E palm mute, E twice, open E palm mute, times three. Sounds like this. Um. Ten times of that, all right? We'll do a little slower. Has that same ending on it as section 1A. Tempo's about like this. Sure. So remember this. Section 1C, a minute 46 in. It's the D chord to the E chord. Again, told you, man. Um, D once, E three times. Come with the open E. E twice, or E chord twice. So we have palm mute the open E, and then 10A, 12th fret D and G, that's our G power chord. We're gonna strum um, eight times. And move it up a whole step to 12, 14, 14. Eight times, so check it out, it's. That's, and then you do go into the higher chords. B major, bar chord, bar everything, seven, go nine, A, nine, D, eight, G, strum it eight times. Ninth time, let it ring, so you're actually doing it nine times. It's the second guitar behind that, like, on the section one C, you can hear like, uh, um, over the, want to substitute it go to that just your standard third position G major bar chord to A major right then you can go right to the B and pretty much it dude check this out you hear some string mutes this is five minutes two seconds in and um but this is good for percussive playing you know what I mean he's going um 
basically last four strings. If you hit five, it's fine. Um, but you're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Again. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. It's like Pac Man, right? And then down, up, down, up, three times. And then uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's almost like a percussiveness that would go behind the. Or over one of those rhythms, you know? Not a huge deal, but it is good to work on percussive stuff and the string mutes, making sure you're not getting any string noise in there. Five minutes, 14 seconds, you'll see down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up four times, you know? It's just. It's Pac-Man stuff, right? Two, three, four. Series of repeats till you get to 612 and you end with that seventh position B major bar chord. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to the lead break stuff. There were three of them. Nine seconds to 20. A minute 25 to 224 and 241 to 255. That's what I got notated. You said there was three of them. And so I've located them off the Chronicles version. All right. Um, nine seconds in. It's uh, 14G, 15B. We've done some stuff like this, Tim. You're going to, I go third and fourth finger. Bend, release, pull off to 12 on the G. And then 14G and D. And I'd go uh, alternate pick on this, down up, so it's... And then 14, 15 again, no bend, down up, vibrato. So here it is, slow. You can kind of leave that third finger kind of in position. Right? 12G, 14D twice, vibrato. 12D slide. And there was some cool stuff in here, man. He's got a, a couple little shred riffs, too. Unison bends, 12E, 15B. We're gonna bend the B string a whole step, do that two times. 12E up, 15B down, pull to 12. And then the unison bend with the vibrato, so it's Fifteen, twelve, fifteen, fifteen on the B. Fourteen G half step. That's one fret. Bend, release, pull to twelve. Right. This being bent to that. So you have fourteen D and G. Use that third finger as like a shift for both those. Fifteen, twelve B. Vibrato. All right, this is alternate picked, and I love stuff like this. It's using the shift again. 14 D, G, D, and then 12 G twice. 14, 12 D, G, 14, 12 D. So we have. Tim, the only reason you're going to be alternate picking is if the phrase is faster, right? That, that's why that's in there. You wouldn't want to down pick that. And that's it for the, the first one, 9 minutes to 20 seconds. The second one, a minute 25 in, is 2G. And he uses the whammy. It does the vibrato. It's not a dive bomb, just like a... You want to get that type of vibrato with the whammy bar. Alternate pick starting with an upstroke. Open G, 2D. And just keep the alternate picking. 2G to open. 2D and G. And then open to D. Here's that riff. And then open G, 2D twice. Um, so here's that whole phrase. Open G twice, two, slide to four, three, four, 
3B, hold vibrato. 2G, I like this riff, I remember this one. Hammer 3, pull 2 and open. And then 2 open 2 on the D, down, up, down. Here it is slow. There it is again. So once again, I think it was in your last lesson, I was talking about the poles, making sure you know your volumes are level. Like the same case here. And your hammers for that matter. So it's good just to work on those four notes. And then connect it. Two twice. Once, once, once. So it's minute thirty-six. Open B, 3B half step bend, and then open high E, that's six times. Whatever finger you want on the bend, middle or third, but it's cool. 3E half step bend to open E, very bluesy. Two G bend. Open 3B, and that's down, up, down. 2 open G. 2 hammer 3, pull 2 open. 2 open D. Here's that whole phrase. Open G, open G to 2, slide to 9. Vibrata. 989 GBG down up down vibrato again 998 half step bend 10B bend 8 so that little phrase would go 989 GBG down up down and then 8, 7, pole, 9, G, vibrato. Those six notes go. Or if you want to use different fingers, you can go. 7, 9, G, vibrato. 8, 7, pole on the B, 9, G, vibrato. So as you're doing these, you know, it's lots of riffs here. Which I'm glad, man, because for, for you wanting to get better on leads, this is what you need. But nowhere to subgroup them, man. Take take the three note pattern, that those last three notes, and go over it. Take the notes before it. Take the part before it. See what I mean? It's like a sentence. By the time you're done, you're taking letters, building words, and making sentences, paragraphs. When you're done, the book's done, right? That's how I look at it. My mind the way it ticks. Minute 49, 10E uh, vibrato, two hits, and then go 9G, 7-8B, 10 pull 8-7 to 9G. So let's group that. We have 8 pull 7B, 9-7G, 9D, 7-9G bend. So let's do that whole phrase now. fast I'm just showing you that can be achieved you know okay bend the 9G and then we're gonna go 9B or no 7B 9G bend vibrato three times wait see and then release it the third time 9th fret G, twice vibrato. 7th fret B, open high E. This is pretty cool. I call it a drone note, but the drone note's on the high E. Usually they're on the upper one, but. 3 times, slide to 8B. 3 times, slide to 10. 
Yeah. So it gives you two times slide to 12, two times, and then 12 slide to 10. Let's do all that. Slow it down. Oops. And then go eight open, slide to seven. Seven, hammer eight, pull seven to nine G. Okay, so two minutes in, this is a faster run. Really cool one for you to work on for uh, picking up your speed. 14 D, 11, 12, 14 G. 12, 13, 15 B. 12, 14, 15, 17 E. Here it is. I'll do it kind of slow and then speed it up. We have. You can use that third finger for the last two if you want. Once you get to the 17 E, there's a rest, then go 14, 15. 17B. On the high E, 14, 15, 17, 14, 15. 17, 14, BE, 15B bend vibrato. So that whole thing at two minutes. Fifteen, oh, do that with your third finger. Fifteen E, fifteen B bend, to twelve E vibrato, fifteen B three times, twelve E, 